gosh, her water just broke. It's 1 a.m. We hadn't gone to bed yet. We were in bed. She felt, she just goes, oh. I'm like, what? And she gets up, she's like, oh my gosh, something's happening. And then water everywhere. So we have Grandma Bonnie here and we are going to the hospital. So I have to grab my bag. This is crazy. The baby is coming. Baby is coming right now. I'm scared. I think Carrie is a little nervous, but we're excited, but a little nervous because we didn't expect it at this hour of the night, right before we went to bed. Here we go. Love you guys, we'll see you at the hospital. Pray for a safe delivery. Okay, here we are. Oh my goodness. We are on our way to the hospital. You guys, did I not call it? January 28th, full moon. I called it. <laughs> yep. I knew it. And when I very first got pregnant, I mapped out my due date that I thought it was, and it was today. And then the doctors gave me a week later, and I just kept feeling like, I know it's today. You can turn right here. This is the hospital okay, street. <laughs> hold um, on to that baby. Yeah, it's kind of funny because it's like the exact day. Oh, hold on. Her, Another one's coming. Her water has just been pouring. <laughs> I'm having the contraction right now as Good. we speak. Okay, hold, hold on. on. Going so I, slow. Do you, do you want me to run this stop sign? Okay, I'm back. I'm good. We just are pulling into the hospital. My mom is following us. She just is getting Michelle situated with the kids. Pulling up, does that say labor and delivery? Oh yeah, I remember these doors. Yeah. Triplets. Oh, hold on, another one's coming, I gotta go. <laughs> Having deja vu, babe. Deja vu, okay, let's go. I can't oh. walk. Okay, babe, what do you want me to do? Nothing, just shh. Just, okay. She's having another contraction, so we're waiting. Okay, it's good. Back in business. Let's go, we're at the gates. This time you guys, I carried all the bags, so no one can say that I made her carry all the bags. We came so fast, we couldn't get snacks, so I'm gonna have to come back over here. What, churro, Andrea? Let's go. It's happening. Okay, we got to the room. How you feeling, babe? They just are very close together. Yeah, they're happening within like two minutes or less. They're happening within like 30 seconds. Sit down, whatever you wanna do that's comfortable. Can't believe this is third pregnancy, fifth baby. They asked us how many pregnancies? We said, uh, we had to count. Okay, Kara's getting her gown on and look at this, we have one of these in this room. Last time we had three and they had coverings, I think. That's crazy. Can't believe it's already here. And her contractions are so close together that I think the baby's coming like very soon. Get a nurse in here and let's tell them you're probably ready. And I'm still waiting for a nurse and she having a contraction every a time dip. It's been every two minutes. It's actually just under two minutes. So she is ready. Get a nurse in here. Nurse. Did you restart it when this one just started? I did, yeah. Here's her beat. Every time you pull that out, a contraction comes. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's get this up a door before this comes naturally. <laughs> the last thing Carol wants is a natural birth. Let's go, baby. That looks good. Okay, guys, the queen is here. Queen Bonnie. You got her. I'm so glad I came early. Yes. I know. Oh my god. Wait, you were supposed to get here today. To, like, I forgot. She changed her flight. And I just felt like I was going to have him today. And I'm like, I just knew it. The full moon. Like, I felt like it too. It's the full moon. You, we already said it in the vlog on the full moon, and it's the full moon. So Bonnie came early, and luckily it's like. She's been here one day. Wow. But not because of the full moon. Full moon. It's true. The gravitational pull. It just yes. happened. Just pulling them right out. So the name that we chose is Asher Cohen. Okay, so the nurse just went to get the epidural ordered. Also, just the policy that they said when the, there's no staff in the room, um, we can take masks off and not have to wear masks. But they said whenever staff comes in, please just put them on. So if any of you are wondering, we're getting the epidural ordered. If you look at this chart back here, I'm gonna go show you guys what being dilated looks like. This is wild. So Kara is right here. She's four centimeters. I'm blown away at 10 centimeters is even a thing. It'll get up to 10 centimeters when she has the baby, so. We got care of her big blanket because she is very cold. Because the IV is very cold. We're trying to keep her warm. Still waiting for the epidural. Painkillers are hitting and fair right now. Feeling a little? Rosy. <laughs> epidural man. Five, three, and Three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> Rounding up. I always round up. So. <laughs> you always. Why would I say five three if I'm yeah. closer to five four? Not exactly. <laughs> <what you say. laughs> Here it comes. I'm not waiting until this contraction's done. Okay. Yeah. Four thirty a.m. Have my epidural now. 
I'm not shaking so much and... Okay, I got epidural. She was having contractions. She was feeling actually like a lot of pain and then... Yeah, my contractions got pretty strong for a minute and... She held my hand tight and then she had a contraction and he's like, did you feel that? And she's like, nope. But I asked for like a low dose of the epidural because I like to be able to like move my legs still and lift them and push myself so I can still like move. So move your feet, go. Yes. Beep, now it is time to... Except this to me is the worst part of giving birth. <laughs> there, right. This is the worst part, Kara said. The needle. Ugh. Yeah. And this is kind of annoying. <laughs> Just keeps on tightening. Yeah. But I'm not cold. Not cold, but getting shivers. Mm -hmm. We're having I laid out the bed. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of sleep. The nurse is gonna come back and check on us in like an hour. So we are going to try to lay down for one hour and get some rest. Maybe we'll be waking up to a baby. So good night, chat fam. We'll see you guys in one hour. Okay, she's a 10. She's dilated, so we woke up. We have doctors in here. Push time, so we have a NICU doctor deliver the baby because they thought there might be a murmur. We'll see. Here he goes. Let's go, baby. Come on. Breath in, hold it, push for 10 seconds. We do it three times during each contraction. <laughs> Is that an okay height for you? Push hard, push, 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 go, 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 push, push. And go, go. Exhale. Let's see if we can get one more with this contraction. Nine, ten. Uh, sure. So safe. He's so, so cute. Wait, just Can't believe this is real. So, sure so welcome to the world. Yeah. Asher Cohen chat when we love you. And he's doing good. Color's coming back. He was really purple. But he looks a lot like Gemma. So he's already so cute. We love him so much. He's a Gemma. Yeah. Your siblings are so excited to meet you. Oh, you want to be an only child? Yes, they are. They're gonna love you so much. Hi, buddy. He has both eyes open. He does? Yeah. Hi. It only took me 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Oh, there. He's looking at you. And you just had one sharp. Great job. 
Good job. Thank you so much. Yeah. Amazing. He's such an asher. I feel like it's yeah, like such a good name. You're a big boy now. You are a big boy now. You gotta keep up with Royal. Like, oh, Anytime I mention his siblings, him. he cries. I'm an only child. Eight pounds, Eight pounds yeah. Yeah. Derek was yep. five or something, but you were early. Yeah. I was six. Mom, what was I? Six pounds. Thirteen. Gemma was seven, fourteen. Wow. And he's eight three. Big boy Asher Co. And he is a week early too. Or is he? He's right on time. And someone get this girl some Lorna Dunes. That's right. I, it was hot in here. I think yeah, honestly. Yeah, I was at a was 102. We're gonna get another set of vitals on him. Planning on breastfeeding, yeah? Yeah. Hey, hey will warm. you grab his Zeranoni? Mm-hmm. Get warm, baby. I have this blanket yeah. too, but we have the same you blanket. Do it? Okay, it's real. We're officially a family of seven. Baby Asher is here. We have a new baby to love. We can't wait for him to go home and meet all his siblings, especially how old Gemma is. She's gonna like love it. It's gonna be so cute. So we're super excited and we're so glad that everything went smooth. Thank you, doctors. We love you guys yet again. You've delivered yet again. <laughs> I have not slept a wink. Yeah. So no tired. You slept for like two and a half hours. Okay. Guys, the nurses delivered Lorna Dane for days. We got four. Oh, he's yawning. When he tries to nurse, then he'll get tired. He's already like mouthing, so he wants to nurse. Mm hmm So it's, we're going to nurse real quick. Not we. Kara's going to nurse real quick. <laughs> I can't believe I'm holding my boy. I can't believe it. Okay, we're heading out. We're going to the new room, another room. So we're leaving the Burger King room. In you go. The best part about having a baby is we each get one of these big cups with pebble ice. A dream come true. Cheers to Asher Cohen. Cheers. Getting some vitals checked. His feet. We got perfect, bud. Got the little burrito. Look at this little guy. Sweet buddy. Mom's out. She hasn't slept yet. Everyone's asleep. I'm gonna go take a mini nap. Hi. I popped into the house to see what's going on. Took a little break from the hospital and look what I ran into. This Elsa girl. Elsa. <laughs> this princess, Jessie yes. Butterfly, Mermaid Princess, Cinderella. And this Anna, Anna. Anna. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Dad. What? Dad. Is that Elsa? Or is that Anna or Elsa? Oh, oh no. That's Anna. Is that Jesse and Cinderella all in one? Um, this is not Cinderella. This is, um, this is Aura. Oh, Aura. Okay. Royal's with Grandma right now. And she's eating a lime. Are you excited to meet your baby brother, Asher? Uh, Asher. Asher. Good job. Asher's gonna have a fun time with you guys. Flew home, took a shower, got all clean so I can do some more skin to skin because we got here in such a rush that I didn't shower yet. So 10.30 p.m. on the day of his birth. So his birthday's almost over. So baby Asher's birthday, sadly, is almost over. He has to wait a whole another year. He had his first bath and now he's just so snuggly. Loving his lip just does that. He's like the best baby. Silent. He's silent. We know it won't last, but yeah. he's a silent guy. Where he like sucks on it and it goes in. It's so mm -hmm. cute. Who are Look at those little baby? rolls. Mm -hmm. He's a big baby, actually. He's so precious. Cute boy. He's just resting on his very squishy arm. He has his fisherman beating on. What's it like to be a father of five? Right now, it feels like I'm a father of one. It's so peaceful. It's like so much easier to take care of one baby than three. We're just gonna get you away, so, okay? Um, We're gonna weigh him real quick and get his vitals again. Make sure he's doing good. Sweet boy is just his nice, cute, chubby cheeks. Beep, beep, beep. The first thing Gemma asked me when we FaceTimed her and she saw that the baby was out was if she could see my belly. And then she's like, wait, why is your belly still big? If you don't know, you still look pregnant after you have a baby. Less pregnant, but still pregnant. And it takes time for your uterus to contract and get back down to about this size. Look at the cute little profile. It means he needs to nurse. So, babe, are you ready? I'm ready. Listen to those socks. 
We just eat in your hand. He's poopy. He needs a change. No way. It's your third poo poos already. I forgot how to do this. <laughs> like I've changed like a million and two diapers over the course of two years. But changing like a brand new newborn's diaper, I feel like I forgot how to do. Oh, Newborns have like very dark black like poop. Tar. Yeah, it's like tar. It's not normal. All right, let's do this. What I? How do I do that? What do I do? Are you tired? Did you just wake up? You've got the poo poos. Do you have the poo poos and you just woke up? His little beanie's coming off. Oh, look at how cute. He skipped preemie. The triplets all had preemies and he's straight to newborn. He's okay, buddy. Paper. Let's go. Okay, just finished the first newborn diaper in a very long time, accomplished, and it was so much harder than I remember. And Kara said it's tar, it's literally tar. It's that black, it's like very, very hard to get off, and then you wanna be super like delicate and soft, so you don't wanna like wipe hard, but you cannot get it off, so. It took me a good minute. He has been the best little nursling. <laughs> Right after he was born, we did skin to skin, and then I got him to latch, and he latched first try, and he stayed on for 50 minutes, 5-0. 50 minutes, just stayed on, sucking away. Then the next time he did it was 50 minutes again. Then he did it for like 20 minutes and had his bath. Now he's ready for his next meal, but he's like doing amazing. He's doing super good. It's like he knows what he's doing. He's gonna out eat Royal at this point. Yeah. Asher versus Royal, who can eat the most? <laughs> so you guys saw briefly when we had all the nurses and two doctors in the room when she was in labor. Baby's heart rate is supposed to be like around 144. She had a monitor on her stomach, you know, that has the baby's heart rate, but it's going 144 and then it jumped down to like 70, which is like very low. If that's really what the heart rate was at for the baby, they'd have to do like a C-section right away. Anyway, it kept on staying there. So then two nurses would come in and be like, oh, weird, maybe it's the machine. So then they went back out and then like four came in and then they went out and then they, they wheeled in a whole nother machine, like a portable heart rate monitor machine. The doctor and then the, like, the NICU doctor also are, were coming by. So there's like a ton of people in the room and me and Carrie don't know what's happening, right? And they were doing like the monitor on my stomach. They attached a little hook thing to his head up inside to try to get a better reading to see if that reading would change, but then that reading was reading the same. And I'd see both machines and both of them would say 144, but then both of them would drop to 70. So like, you're like thinking, they said maybe it's a faulty machine, but they both were doing it, so it's not yeah, likely, so right? Yeah, so then they were like, well, maybe it is him. Maybe it is 70. So like, then they ran out and all the doctors came in and that's where like, my heart was kind of pounding. I was like, oh my gosh. You know, you never want to see your baby's heart rate drop that low. It's like, something's happening, this is scary. And I did not want to have to go have an emergency C-section. I would just look at the nurse's eyes, try to read if like they were nervous or not. And they looked like they all were like unplugging stuff quick. They were and, nervous. <laughs> yeah, they seemed nervous. And so it made me super nervous because I don't know what's happening. And my heart just kept on like skipping beats every single time. Long story story short, that was kind of like a scare for a while, but they got the both machines to be at 140. They just said there could be an issue maybe with the baby's heart as far as like heart palpitations or galloping. He said they are keeping an eye and they're listening to his heart like very carefully like every time they come and check up on him. Ren had something similar though. Yeah, Ren had something similar and they said usually it's because and their they valves. they got it checked out and it was fine. Their heart valves are still so small and like tightening or something. But anyway, that was the most scared I've been out of the three pregnancies for sure. When you see doctors running in a room and you know, and it has something to do with the baby's heart rate dropping. Oh. A lot of prayers were said and baby is good and sucking away. So, well, we're gonna go to bed. I'm looking at my watch. It's not on my hand because I'm tired. Don't it's you know where that is? It's 1.30. We will see you guys tomorrow. Day two in the hospital. I'm not sure how long we're gonna be here. I think two days, but we'll see. Thanks for the prayers. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you and good night. Good night. Oh, and super quick, you guys, before we go to bed. You guys remember when Kara, Kara, when did you predict he was going to come? I predicted January 28th for the full moon. All of you guys, we saw a lot of the comments. A lot of you guys are looking up at the moon, seeing that it's full, and they're like, oh my gosh, Kara says he's coming on a full moon. But not only that, it's the first full moon of the year. So it's called a wolf moon. So we got a wolf a baby. Wolfy. It's a little werewolf. <laughs> yeah. I thought about maybe naming him Asher Wolf. We didn't really think no. about it. Just right now we did. We, can, we still have time to change it. Our wolf baby. Good night, Asher. His birthday will resume in a year. It is the morning of day two. We have a special someone with us. She's making her debut. Turn around. Oh, hi, Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie's here. She is with us now. She stayed with the babies last night and her and my sister. Mom just got her. Mom, what is you wearing, girlfriend? In my bathroom. Carrie is sporting this very nice Ugg robe. <laughs> It's like so soft, it's fleece inside. You guys wanna know a pregnancy tip? Treat yourself to a new robe every pregnancy. That's what Carrie does. Yep. And I wear it for two years and then I get a new one. <laughs> It's fun. Here's the man of the hour getting his feet are warmed up because he has to do a, what's it called, Kara? And they're just Hi. doing like a blood panel. A blood panel, yeah. 
Are you alive today? You are so alive today. Hello, Hi. my boy. He took right to the binky, something that the triplets never did. Hi. In the NICU, they had binkies. They don't yeah. like them, though. Well, once they were home, they never really kept them in. I feel like he will keep his, right? A yeah, lot longer. He's a, he's we're gonna a really binky. work at it. <laughs> he keeps on trying bottles. to use me as a binky. Well, I think because of breastfeeding, he will be a binky baby. Yeah. The triplets were pure just. Or, oh no. Oh no, buddy. So. <laughs> he's like, come up, put it in, hurry. That's what it'll be on. There you go. Life is good. Oh, he's so precious though. He's just been so cozy today. I love how his hair goes down his cheek. <laughs> I wish it stayed like that. He slept really good last night. I nursed him a couple of times. He's still a great nurser. He just latches on and goes for a long time, even though there's probably not much there. Then he woke up in the night and I had fed him kind of recently and he was just squeaking. So Derek just put him in bed with me and he just snuggled up and we slept together. He actually was so silent. He was super quiet during the whole night. I slept right here and I actually slept pretty good because it was so quiet in this room. So many times like having a newborn, I have to like make sure like, oh, are they breathing good? And with this guy, you can't even hear if he's breathing. I can't see any movement. <laughs> I get like, it's kind of dark, but I get right up on my ear, right up to his mouth. And I still like don't hear anything. They breathe so quietly, but then you'll hear like a, and like, okay. Okay, good. He slept super well. We actually had a good night's rest. The chaos will ensue, I think, tomorrow when we take him home <laughs> to the house, the triplets and Gemma. But we're excited for them to meet him. Nothing like a cup of Lorna Doom. Jump start the morning. Isn't that right, babe? Mm-hmm. Really good. Little cookies. All right, so we used a barophone. It sends little soft chirping sounds at different frequencies, and it has sensors above and below his ear and up on his head that can track the response to the sounds that the brain makes. And those responses are charted in the computer. So we're doing a hearing test for baby Asher right now. Make sure his hearing is good. And that's crazy. All right, buddy, let's check out those ears. Just has to hit the green. Come on. He has to hit the green. Yay. He I'm getting nervous. <laughs> this red line was not hitting the green and I was watching it go down, it's like a stop. And now it hit past. I'm happy now. I was getting scared for a second, baby. Okay, now we're doing the left ear. Let's go. Sweet boy. Grandma is holding him because he just got prick. Vials of blood put into from his heel and it was hard for me. Was it hard for you? So it's always super hard for me to see like my kids hurt and I couldn't handle it. I was holding both Asher's hands and they're filling up little vials because they had to do some tests. You know, they do like a little pinprick in the heel and then get like, they squeeze the foot really hard to get a drop out and they have to do like, 20 drops to fill up the whole vial. Every drop is painful for me, but we made it. It was more painful for me than Asher probably. Asher probably didn't even care that much. At this hospital, you get to have a celebratory romantic lunch or dinner. We did dinner with the triplets. We're doing lunch this time and you get to like pick off the menu what you want. So I got steak and shrimp again. That's what I got with the triplets too. Chicken. Chicken. Let's check it out. <laughs> Our celebratory dinner. Okay, babe, let's see what, let's see what Carol ordered. Fifth child dinner. Steak and shrimp, babe, let's go. Daddy got... Ooh, chicken and beans and fries. That looks pretty good. Just dreaming away. Sleep tight, baby Asher. Love you. We got his fox in there with him. His little snuggly fox. Although, we should have got him a wolf, Kara, because he's a wolf moon baby. Okay, mom's getting Asher in his first outfit of his life. And he's looking so cute. So, we get him dressed, and then we're just gonna snap a quick photo. He hasn't had any clothes on yet. He's just been in his diaper wrapped in a hospital blanket and a serenoni, so. He looks so cute. This huge oversized hat. <laughs> this oversized beanie is so cute. Oh no. I'm gonna go home for a little bit, okay, and see your brothers and sisters and they'll come back. Sleep tight. Here we are. Welcome you guys to day two, night two. Baby C. Baby Asher. <laughs> Baby A. Sorry to throw you off like that. You guys saw a little bit of the craziness over there. And we were just saying it's so crazy how calm it is here and then we have to go home and this pure little soul is gonna hear just screaming kids. <laughs> He's in for a treat. He's gonna hear Ren. No, be nice. <laughs> there he is. Oh, open your eyes. Hope we don't break this nice bed. Recline it, let's go. My whole body is so sore from pushing him out. Like every muscle in my arms and my back, just from like holding my legs up and like just squeezing and like shaking and pushing so hard. I feel like I worked out for the first time yeah, yeah, your in first, a long time. True. All that forcing. That's why you're so sore. 
Kira hasn't worked out in like years. <laughs> Tore some muscles like in a good I way. I do maybe work stronger. out sometimes, but yeah, I definitely use muscles that have not been touched for a long time and I'm so sore. <laughs> it's so cute. Nursing's still going well. That's getting really sore. Kind of chapped, but getting better soon. The nurses were laughing earlier too because, you know, babies are born at their birth weight and then they can lose weight and then they like gain it back once your milk comes in and they start eating more, but he's only gone down like one and a half ounces. He's still pretty big. He's just waking up. He's been sleeping for a long time. Let's nurse him, let's change that tartar, and let's get ready for bed, and we are out of here tomorrow. And it's off to home, and we're gonna have Gemma and Reese and Royal and Ren meet baby Asher. I'm ask if I can stay for one more night. Carol wants to stay forever. <laughs> it's so relaxing here. And they cater to your every need, which is nice. But I can't wait for them to meet their little baby brother. Slept at home with all the kids last night. Kind of got them as ready as possible. We had kind of a crazy morning, Bonnie and I. It was fun. Kara needs to check out like an hour or so. We're gonna go get her and get baby Asher. We got his car seat in here, his base, and so we're gonna put him in his car seat and we're gonna bring him home. So we're super excited. And then you guys can see him meet Gemma Reese World Red. Right? Let's go get her. Daddy's back. Guys, this is the closest that I'll get to nursing. Put him like this and he just puckered up. He was oh trying to suck God. on my shirt, so I put on a binky. This is it. This is father nursing. Getting ready to check out. Oh, I could hold him all day. I know. It's so nice to have like one baby at a it's time. It's so nice to have the one on one time. Because we were talking about with the triplets. One, they were in the NICU for 20 days, but we couldn't hold them like this. We couldn't like love them. Physically one couldn't on because one. there's, yeah, we couldn't be with them, but also just there's too many of them. So you always had to put them down when you were done with your business with them and go to yeah. the next one. So we did our best. So multiples are awesome, but don't take for granted having a single yeah. time because they get a lot more you love. You just soak it all in. And the baby gets held 24 Seven, which so is like cute. good for the baby, obviously. But we're so glad that he's here. We're ready to take him home to meet his sibling. Dude, he's too small, though. I don't know how he's gonna fit in that car seat. I know. Okay, baby, you ready? I'm ready. We gotta get him in his car seat. Hey, buddy. Time to get in your car seat. He's not seat. gonna like it. No, he's not gonna like this. It's gonna be cold. There's his car seat. Hey, buddy, let's go. I've got his let's go home. Pinky. Here's my new bod coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give it a few days, all right? It's gonna go down, don't worry. <laughs> hey, buddy, let's go. He's Bye. so tiny. <sighs> Look how small he is in here. We didn't grab the infant insert. Yeah, we forgot the insert. There's an infant insert. <laughs> that like comes His with the face. car seat. She's like, why? Oh my goodness. You cutie. He's ready to go. He just like fell asleep so quickly. Get you nice and bundled. Go home, bud. It's snowy out there. Your first day out is in the snow. Snowy, snowy day. Guys, we are just right here in the waiting room. Me and this princess. Gemma, who are you waiting for? Asher. Asher. They're gonna walk mom out because we can't go in, but we're just like right by the front door because they don't let us go in right now. Because this is there's so many babies in there. See, this is gonna be Gemma's first time seeing her baby brother. And then the triplets are napping right now, so we're gonna show the triplets their new baby brother when they wake up. <laughs> 